what's happened here is that um, I didn't hear Sheridan signal from the radio to stop witching out. I once pulled too much and then gone and pulled it off. And it's left the piece in there. So what we're going to do is use a clove hitch, pull it tight and use the, the, um, the lock nut that's on there, the holding piece, to help it bite into and then we'll just pull it over itself. So go through. And this is one of the advantages with synthetic rope. You, you can't do this, not real successfully, with uh, wire rope, purely because you just can't tighten knots like this. So I'll go underneath. All right, I'm gonna feed it through a bit more so I get a bit more bite. I'll bring that right over the other side. See there. I'm trying to keep the angles nice and level if you can. Right. Now what we're going to do now is push that in. And then wind it over itself to create a, a lock like it normally does. Alright. So, I'm in. And I'll feed that over the rope, on the back side, you can see it from the top here, Sharon, sure, all I'm doing, all through, through there, possibly. So I'm going to winch it in. So that we can get it down on itself so it's biting. It's a nice bit bite there. got tension on that rope now and she's in theory because you've run this other piece longer out and you're running the rope over it it's bite, biting it down onto it and it won't slip on you as we can see there now that has got a lot of tension Right, that's one fixed. Okay, we'll pause there.